All right. I got a question. Mike Zano, this is coming to you. This is from Jason Mendoza. He would What's like up, to know Jason? The, he would like to know the difference between process moto automation and Zapier automation. Is process moto more people oriented? Oh, so give well, give the listeners a little uh, thirty second uh, rundown on what process moto is and how it maybe how you think it's going to help the business and maybe how it's different than Zapier. Sure, sure. Well, Zapier is something that you do use with process moto. So Zapier is a tool that will integrate with process moto. So Zapier. It, it does automations. This happens, that happens, but it doesn't do what process moto does, which creates entire workflows, algorithms for the business where, you know, you can have things become redundant over and over again. Now in Zapier, you can have simple or complex zaps, you know, uh, that allow you to do certain functions, but when you can integrate those into a, a real workflow, now you're cooking with, uh, what do they say? Uh, cooking with what's it? Grease. Yes. Kissing cooking with gasoline. That's what it is. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> cooking with grease. Cooking with, it's not the same. I think we Zapier started Zapier is a tool that you can integrate into today. the workflow software process moto. So process moto is much higher level, but it is absolutely um, um, you know, it's beneficial to have Zapier integrated into it. So I would say you need to go to process moto forward slash universe and look at some of the, um, uh, you know, the examples that Scott has in there every Thursday night. It's an open invitation. Just get on process um, you know, email list and you get invited and you can go watch him do it. It's crazy that he gives out free training every week on this too. So if you were showing up every night, uh, you'd have a really big jump on your business every Thursday night. Yeah, here's a, here's a cool Let's thing. Go. I bought I bought a property wholesale today nice. from a gentleman who has implemented implemented practices that he has learned in Process Moto. So it's pretty cool to see on the other end of things as a buyer uh, mm. what the buyer experiences as a result of these workflows that this guy has set up that he learned through Scott Todd, and uh, cool. it was it was pretty cool. Uh, so these workflows are going to make it make our business, uh, Mike, like Mike Zeno says, uh, we're going to be able to McDonaldize our business with this <laughs> tool. Just and, had uh, McDonald's French fries, by the way. Very good. Were they good? Oh, I sounds. love McDonald's French fries. Who doesn't love them? Only if they're piping hot, by the way. Anyways, carry on. And salty. So anyway, Jason Mendoza, hopefully that helps. <laughs>